Welcome to the tutorial, Understanding Data Storage in SMI Experiment Suite. SMI Experiment Suite provides a robust series of mechanisms for handling the data generated by its customized eye tracking experiments, both in the experiment creation phase and the analysis phase. Such data handling simplifies the task of securing your results through backups, as well as facilitating team sharing of experiment and output data. In this tutorial, you'll learn the Data Storage Locations options in Experiment Center, how data storage is managed in Begays, and how to customize options in both programs. Let's take a look at the overall workflow first. Experiment Center launches with a clean slate, so you can start a new experiment right away. I'll skip the steps to actually creating the experiment, as that process is covered in other tutorials. Here's a simple experiment I created. I'll need to save the experiment before I can run it. The first time you save the experiment, you're only asked to provide a name with optional additional details. When I click Save, the experiment parameters are stored in a default location and a data folder for the experiment results is automatically created. During the experiment phase, all the collected data is stored in the Experiment Suite data folder. To analyze the recorded data, click Begays. This not only opens the Begays program, it also creates an experiment in Begays for the collected data, so you can check the results immediately. Whenever you have recorded additional data, just hit the Begays button again. The new data will then be added to the experiment in Begays. Now, Let's run through that process again, but this time we'll explore the various storage options and dive deeper into what's going on. Back in Experiment Center, I'll click the New icon to close the previous experiment and prepare to create a new one. Again, after developing the experiment, we would need to click Save to continue to the experiment phase. But what exactly is saved and where? Experiment Center uses two different data storage locations one for the experiment definition and parameters, and another for the collected results of the experiment. You can see the paths to these data storage locations by choosing Extras, Global Settings. Once the dialog opens, under the General tab, the Data Paths section displays options for storing both the experiment definition as well as the results. As you can see, by default, experiments are stored in the Program Files directory of the system under the SMI Experiment Suite 360 Experiment Center 2 Experiments folder. Results are also placed in the Experiment Center 2 folder, but in a Results subfolder. As I'm sure you suspected, you can easily change the default paths to either the experiments or the result data storage locations. As an example, I'll change the experiments path to a folder in the root of my C drive. It's important to understand that when you alter the path, you are creating a new data folder. This is apparent if I now select Open. Because this is a new data folder, no experiments are available and the data folder is empty. You should also know that if an experiment is open, you won't be able to change the location of the experiment data folder you'll have to close all experiments as I did first. However, you can modify the path to the result at any time. Experiments and results can be moved from one data folder to another via the Export-Import features of Experiment Center. Let's say I want to bring in an experiment from my old default data folder to a new custom data folder. To demonstrate this, I'll reset the data folder to its default location. Next, I'll select File, Export, Experiment, and choose the current experiment. Then, I'll specify the destination. Well, let's just put it on the desktop for now. The exported experiment is saved with a file extension of .zep. Now, let me change data folders again, and I'm ready to choose File, import experiment, 
and then navigate to my prior data folder path to select my experiment. Clicking Open will import the selection into the current data folder. I'll choose Open to demonstrate that the newly imported experiment is now in our current data storage location. This functionality makes it possible to share experiments with other researchers. Once exported, you can transfer the .zep file however you desire. Let's imagine we ran our experiment and collected the data, and, once we're done recording all our participants, move to Begays for analysis. We could click the button from Experiment Center to launch the program and load the experiment. Now you can proceed to analyze the existing data. Should you need to load additional experiment results, choose File, Modify Experiment. This opens a dialog that shows the current experiment. In the Gaze Data tab, click Add Files, and then navigate to the data folder with the new experiment results. You'll need to open each participant's folder and select the file or files within. Once you select them, they'll be integrated into the Begay's data storage location. In general, data recorded by Experiment Center will be copied to the Begay's data store during creation or modification of experiments in Begay's. This makes sure that at any point in time you'll be able to use the recorded data again. Data recorded by Experiment Center is not altered by importing it into Begay's. An effect of this is that to be able to analyze the data in Begay's, an experiment in Begay's has to be created or modified. Recorded data is not transferred to Begay's automatically after recording. Whenever new data has been recorded, the new data has to be transferred to Begay's for it to be analyzed. To open an existing experiment in Begay's, click the Open Experiment icon. The list displays shows all the available experiments in the Begay's data folder. I'll load one as an example. Now, let's look at the data folder location in Begay's. You'll remember that Begay's has its own data folder, independent from the one in Experiment Center. As with Experiment Center, you'll need to close the current experiment before changing the data folder location. Access the path to the data folder by choosing File, Global Settings. Should you choose a new folder, the data folder will initially be empty. Click Reset to return to the default setting. Similar to Experiment Center's Export-Import operations are Begay's Backup Experiment to File and Restore Experiment from File features. You can back up an experiment to store it securely in a different location or move it to a different Begay's database. To bring in a backed up experiment, choose Restore Experiment from File. For additional data storage manipulation, both Experiment Center and Begay's have Save and Save As options, as well as Recent Experiments and Delete Experiments, all located under the file. In this tutorial, you learned how experimental parameters and resulting data are stored in Experiment Center, and you also saw the available features for opening, saving, and moving that information. Additionally, you learned how to work with data in Begay's, opening, modifying, backing up, or restoring experiments. SMI Experiment Suite provides a rich feature set for handling your experiment data to enable full customization and robust team management.